Hello, and welcome to an introduction to ORCA. My name is Spencer Bowman, and I'm a librarian here at the Tacoma Public Library's Northwest Room. ORCA, which is short for Online Records and Collections Access, is a digital database of collections held by the Northwest Room. With it, you can explore the holdings of the Northwest Room and access both digitized and born digital content. In this short introductory video, I'm going to show you how to navigate the homepage, explore the collections, and download material. Let's get started. First, let's make our way to the ORCA homepage. To do this, you can type the URL northwestroom.tacomalibrary.org into your favorite browser, or locate the homepage from the library's homepage, www.tacomalibrary.org, scroll down to the bottom, and click Northwest Room. Then click on the ORCA banner. Here we are at the ORCA homepage. You'll always know you're here by the banner image and the text, Welcome to Northwest ORCA. Part one, navigating the homepage. The homepage gives you access to many different ways to begin searching for material. You can either browse or search. To browse by a certain category, select one by clicking on the Browse dropdown and clicking on your selection. You can browse by different categories such as Collection, which is exactly what it sounds like, a collection of related items. Creator, which we define as the specific person or organization that created the material in the collection. For example, the photographer Verna Hafer is the creator of all the photographs and documents in her collection. Digital object, which means either a digital scan of a photograph or any digitized item. The term digital object also includes born digital or material that was originally created digitally. Subject, which is a specific subject term assigned to certain items in a collection to better help you locate related material across collections. Place, which is very similar to subjects, but connects certain materials across collections to a specific place or address. And finally, repository, which refers to the different locations that certain materials are stored. Another way to think about repositories is that they're containers that hold specific collections. For instance, we have the Northwestern's repository and the Community Archives repository. All the material created for the Community Archives project is stored in the Community Archives repository. And all the material in Northwest Room is stored in the Northwest Room's repository. Those are the basics of the ORCA homepage. In the next part of this video, we'll take a look at searching. Part two, searching the collections. To search, you simply type in a keyword or search term into the search bar and press enter or click the search button to the right. I'm gonna search for Verna Hafer, the photographer. So I'm gonna first type her name into the search bar and press enter. Success. I see a lot of results here. Let's take a look at the first result, the Verna Hafer collection. As I mentioned earlier, a collection is a collection of related items. So we can see this is the Verna Hafer collection. So this will take us to the collection of materials created by Verna Hafer. I'm gonna click on the title and it'll take us to the collection. Here we are at the Verna Hafer collection page. We see at the top of the page a graphic diagram of how the collection is organized. At the top, we see a little box image and the title Verna Hafer Collection. Then below the box, we see four folders attached to that box. Each folder contains material organized by that folder's specific label. To make this more clear, let's take a look at the folder titled Albums. If we click the plus icon left of the folder, that will expand the contents of that folder. Now we see more folders, album one and album two. If we select album one, we will be able to see the contents of that album. Oracle will display each item below in the folder 
and display digitized items below the diagram in the carousel. This is just two ways of looking at the same material. It may be easier for you to use the carousel to find a certain image, or if you knew the title of the image already, it may be easier to look through the diagram to find it. Once you've found an item you're interested in, you can click on it to see that specific item's record. I'm curious about Hard Rock Randall, so I'm gonna click on either the photo in the carousel or the title in the diagram to see its record. Now below the image, you'll find the record. The record gives you more information on a specific item. To see the full item, you'll need to click on it. That will open it up in full in your browser. One thing to note is that depending on what type of item you're looking at, be it a photo, a PDF, or an audio file, it will appear differently in Orca. Let's take a quick look at a PDF. Here we are at the items page. Just like the Verna Hafer photograph we were looking at before, we see the organizational diagram above the item and the record below. If we click this PDF, it'll open up in the browser where you can see it in its entirety. With an audio file, you will see it represented either as an image of the object and a play bar below, or just an audio icon and the play bar below that. Video files are similar. You will see the embedded video and the play bar below it. In this final part of the video, I'll show you how to download an item to your computer. Downloading items is a little different depending on what type of item you're downloading. If it's an image, you'll need to click on that image to open it up in full. Then on a PC, right click and select Save As. On an Apple computer, you'll need to hold down the control button and click to save image as. If the item's a video, you can simply right click on download movie below the embedded video and select save link as. Downloading audio is almost identical to downloading video. All you need to do is right click on download audio below the play bar and select save link as. For PDF files, you'll need to click on them to open them in your browser, then right click and select Save As. That concludes this introductory video on navigating the homepage, searching and downloading items. If you have any questions about using Orca, please don't hesitate to contact us at 253-280-2814 or by email at nwr at tacomalibrary.org. Thanks for watching.